Hi, and welcome to the financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. In this example, we're going to calculate revenues from a marketplace that sells tickets. So what we need to know is the number of new users that we're going to calculate from our go-to-market strategies. Of course, this will be for years one to five. If you uh, want to know how to model different go-to-market strategies, please watch our uh, past videos. We have examples on digital marketing strategy, on influencers, on podcasts, and on social media marketing strategies. And uh, then we need to know which percentage of the users are going to be recurring. Again, initially, those assumptions will be based on an industry standard. As you get data for your company, you can replace it with real data. We need to estimate the percentage of users that are going to make a purchase. And then the average monthly purchase amount, which will be a combination of the number of tickets uh, bought per month and the average ticket price. Okay, so let's look at the assumptions for the ticket marketplace. Um, the average ticket price is $50. We're going to assume that um, whenever a purchase is made, a user buys two tickets on average. Then uh, we're going to assume that 2% of new users make a purchase and 5% of existing users. Now, where would you would get these numbers? Uh, in real life, uh, this would be based on industry norms if you don't have any other data. And the average ticket price will be based on whatever you sell and you would have to do competitive research and see what similar tickets sell for and estimate what the average amount is going to be. Now, number two, I uh, hear is more of a logic assumption is how you see your business. It really depends on what kinds of tickets you're selling. What is it that you are well, you offer to your customer. Okay, so for this exercise, the number of new users is the input normally to be calculated from your go to market strategy. So you can look at our past videos like I've already mentioned to see that. So the first step is to calculate the cumulative number of users. This is your existing user base. Uh, it will be based on however many users you had in the previous month, plus the number of users you convert each month. For the first month, it'll just going to be the number of users for that month. Okay, so then what you're going to do is to calculate the number of you, new users buying tickets. We're going to use a floor function to be more conservative, to not uh, allow for any partial users buying. And then we're going to take our new users times the percentage of them by anchor it and round it to zero decimal points and paste that forward. Uh, so there won't be any returning or existing users buying tickets in the first month. And then we're going to take the uh, accumulated user base from the previous month and apply a higher percentage, which is 5% for existing users and then take that forward. So then, okay, so then we have our total number of users, right, buying. So it will be new users plus uh, uh, existing users in order to calculate revenues. And then we're going to multiply by the number of tickets that each going to buy and times the ticket price and paste that forward. And so in this example, uh, what we need to do, of course, is to anchor the input so that they're pasted correctly. And so in this case, we um, expect, uh, based on these assumptions, for the marketplace to generate $1.5 million, which is actually pretty good if that's, in fact, the first year, right? But where these numbers are coming from, of course, are mostly from how many users you expect to have. And uh, I just used a simple 50% uh, growth rate here in real life you would have to uh, base it on your go-to-market strategies and the conversion rate from each strategy and how much money you're able to put into um, the strategies as well. And there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling early stage ventures, please subscribe to our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.